um, hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is one word effects and um, today I'm going to be talking about the market structure yeah so before we get into the video I would like to introduce myself as this is probably going to be my first video here on YouTube with you guys so um, my name is one word effects uh, I've been trading for a while now but I've never really had the thought of creating a YouTube channel to drop content and you know just share my ideas share my um, knowledge with you guys out here until recently a friend of mine suggested and has been pushing me towards creating a, a YouTube channel so this is it so before we dive into our video please I want to beg you guys to please subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, give me a thumbs up on my video click the notification icon comment let me know in the comment section what you think i should talk about if there's any topic you want me to talk about anything at all just hit uh, let me know in the comment section okay so basically today uh, i just want to make this video as uh, short as possible i don't want it to be too long because this is my first time i'm not used to this so i'm going to apologize if there's any way that maybe the way i talk my accent or something so uh, basically market structure is just how the market moves and um, to me according to my knowledge there are three ways three forms in which the market moves there are three market movements okay so the first on our list is the number one is the uptrend some people also call it the bullish movement and some call it the long some call it the buy so whatever way they call it is just the uptrend um the uptrend market is just uh, the movement of the market in which the market is being projected in uh, in an up upward direction. For instance, let me get my two. Okay, so this is the. For instance, let's see. This is our chart. This is an example of an uptrend. Okay, this is an example of an uptrend when the market is moving in an, in an upward project projection rather so this is an example of an uptrend as you can see if you pull up pull up your trend line you see that um, your market keeps bouncing up bouncing up on your trend line and just moving basically in an uptrend uh, direction so um, the reason why this is called an uptrend is because as you can see price kept making like a uh, Price kept making like a um, what's it called? Price kept making like a a higher high and a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, a higher high, a higher low, a higher high. So indicating that this is going to be an uptrend. So you understand? So this is basically an uptrend. Okay. Um. So the next one on our list is the downtrend. That's the bearish or the shorts or the sell market structure. This is basically just the move market, the movement of the market in a downward projection. I'm going to draw an example on the board right now. So um, this is how the market moves in a downtrend. Okay, this is just how the market moves in a downtrend, uh, making a higher, sorry, making a lower low, a lower low. So a lower low a higher low lower low higher low lower low higher low lower low higher low so this indicating to you that this market is in a downtrend so if you put your trend line right here you kind of see that the market is in a downtrend because it keeps bouncing up on this trend line okay so please don't mind my drawing here you know I'm just trying to illustrate to you guys we are definitely going to go to the chart and I'm going to show you how to identify this movement okay because it can get complicated when you are actually um, in a live chat so but we are going to um, I'll be going to the chart to show you guys how to identify this market movement so the next on uh, the third on our list is the channel some call it the ranging market and some call it the consolidation um basically the reason is uh, channel is just the channel movements uh the channel market structure is just um when 
the market is just um in a kind of a consolidation process it's just trying to consolidate and everything so i'm going to show you guys how an example of how it is so let's see this is our market okay market is just moving in a kind of it in a horizontal manner do you understand in a horizontal manner let's see so if you trend line let's say this is a trend line as you can see the market is just in a channel the market is the channel not on not in an uptrend not in the downtrend but it's just kind of in between just trying to consolidate you know so this is what this is an example of a channel real quick i'm trying to make this video as short and as simple as it can be okay so let's say um i want to show you guys how the market moves let's say um before we move into the chart proper i'm going to show you guys how um three of this uh how to identify three of this um, market structure in a chart okay let's see for instance now let me clear this up um let's see this is a market this is an, okay let's see there's a you go into your chart and you see something like this okay and then after that it keeps you saw something like this like this like this like this and then before then you now see something like this uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Oh, so right now, sorry, don't mind my uh, drawing anyway. So as you can see here right now, the market was in an uptrend. Here, it got to this point, it got to this point, and then started consolidating. As you can see, consolidated here, and this is your, this is our first um, market structure. That's our, this is our uptrend uptrend this is our channel okay oh, sorry don't no, never mind this is our channel and then this is our downtrend okay let's see w so this is just basically how the market moves okay so i'm going to take you guys right now to the chart to show you guys how you can identify some of this um that um right now i'm going to be showing like i said in the video uh, I'll take you guys to like a chart and show you guys how to identify an uptrend. Okay, so um, looking at my chart right now, I'm currently on the GBP USD and I'm on the daily time frame, guys. Um, so right now I'm going to be showing you how to identify some of this. So firstly, we're going to identify an uptrend. So this is clearly an uptrend, starting from this place. clearly now i'm going to show you guys how to identify an uptrend and clearly this is an uptrend starting from here as you can see higher highs higher lows higher highs higher lows higher highs so it took it all the way here to make a higher high and then higher lows so like that this is basically an uptrend clearly guys clearly never miss this okay the next market structure i'm going to show you guys on this live chart is the channel as you can see price came in here this point and then started ranging like a kind of consolidating as you can see so this is price in a channel so like i told you before came here went up came down went up came down so it's a little kind of choppy but just know that this is just basically how it is this is an this is a channel and it doesn't have to be perfectly drawn okay for you to understand that this is actually a channel it's, um the market structure i'm going to be showing you guys right now is the um the downtrend okay so i'm just going to go to my uh weekly all right so now i'm going to show you guys so um this is uh you don't need any uh magician to tell you that this market was in a downtrend here okay was this market was actually in a downtrend here why do i say this market was in a downtrend because you see how the market was moving came here created a lower low 
made a higher high, a uh, higher low, sorry, pardon me, and then went again to make a lower low, came out, make a uh, lower high, and then went down, made a higher low, whatever. So, this is just basically how to identify a market structure in the forex um, market, okay? And you know how the market moves. Uh, sometimes it can be a little bit choppy like uh, the downtrend you're seeing right here can be a little bit choppy but you just have to identify some of the key things that makes a market move in a certain way if you love this video do not hesitate to give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and also share in the comment section what you think about this video if there's any topic you want me to talk about if there's anything you want me to touch any area at all you want me to touch please hit the subscribe button uh, like this video share to your friends share to your guys you know and also leave a comment for me thank you so much until i see you again next time my name is one word effects bye